Hello everyone and welcome to Sternly Worded Adventures. I'm Evie Greenbottle and today we're going to be checking out this new RPG game that is also a word puzzle game. The demo is currently available over on Steam. This game was part of the RPG Fest that recently happened and it is quite good if you like word games and I happen to like word games. So let's jump in. I've unlocked a few different characters but in the demo they're not available so Halfling there, the Woodsman and the Warrior not currently available but we can play as the adventurer and we do get to change what they look like a little bit so we can give them some classic red hair we can change their shirt color make them wear kind of whatever color we'd like we can change the color of their trousers that's a nice deep green trousers there we go and she's looking very cool all right in this game we're starting off in our little caravan here with our little horse and we're starting at a little campfire and we can rest to start which is probably good because we are not sitting at full health at the moment which is interesting so let's go and rest here at the campfire and now we are fully healed you don't really often see games where you don't start at full health so i find that kind of interesting but we're going to be traveling on into a level zero crypt and as we approach the crypt clearly there's no way to proceed other than going through it oh dear travel is the way and you can drag and move the map around you've done all the preparation you can even if that was just resting up first who knows what horrors lurk within but you can probably handle it probably in the game it's going to show us our potential damage done and potential healing or potential damage that we're going to be taking so we may need to reinvigorate ourselves using a potion or finding a campsite to rest but we've got this onwards and we're going to adventure into the crypt here in Kalam. And the first thing we have found is a skeleton guard over here. We've got Eddie Detter and he has one and a half hearts here. And we're going to be doing damage by making words on this board. And we've got silver tiles and these kind of goldy bronze tiles. And they're going to be helping us do extra damage if we can make a word with them, which is the hard part here. All right, I can see the word bomb. So I might try that one to start. And I'm sure there's other better words here, but let's go with this one to start. Now we've used up some of the tiles, but they do refill. At least they do right now. We did take a little bit of damage though, but he only has one little thing left. So as long as we can make a small word, I can see listed here, which is a great word. Uh, it's going to do way more damage than we actually needed, but that's okay. All right, we've got a weeble now, which is like a slime monster. And I can just see a little ban here. He's not that strong, so I think a three-letter word is going to be enough to take him right out. Ooh, and now we've got John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi. Oh, goodness. He has quite a lot of health. This is where we needed the listed word. Let's see if we can get something else that is kind of good. Now, the worst part is you probably all see so many things that I am not seeing. I can see gas. I can see gay or gays, maybe even. I can see off All right there we go attacking with that Ooh, blank tiles a wild card tile counts as any letter but only contributes to the length multiplier so could we do soften all right good it didn't do too much damage though oh no an x has fallen in we've got some hard letters here and it feels like all of our vowels are very much clumped together All right just going to do p <laughs> a little one there and let's just see if we get some better oh no what are these ones unselectable tile falls off is at the bottom of the board during your turn so we need to clear out these ones to get these two to fall off the bottom of the board oh no it's very difficult because these are not the easiest letters i don't think i keep thinking i can make the word zoo but zoo is not spelled with an x that's just silliness but we could make loopy which is not a terrible word and it finished him off and now we've got the treasure chest over here do i have to make a word to open the treasure chest looks like i do Okay, we can make Leer. And we've got a whole bunch of coin out of our treasure chest. Bringing us up to 103 gold total. And we get to choose an item as well. So we've got the Ring of Foresight reveals up to the next four enemies and the tile queue. The refill queue is an additional four tiles. We've got the Rapier. Uh, regular damage from attacks that start and end with the same letter ignore armor. And the Trapping Kit. Starting combat in a wooded area heals you for a quarter of your maximum health. Hmm, I think I might go for the Trapping Kit. So if we're in the woods, we're going to be doing some healing. Right, I think those words were not too bad. Had some longer ones listed being worth nine points felt pretty good. All right, if we head over to the words of the woods, maybe that's a good idea because we could do some healing if we start our turn in the woods, I believe. And I think let's do some exploring inside the woods and you can see the map gets even closer in. Wandering along the park road, you're hailed by a woodsman. I've not seen you around these parts before. You should know if you're playing an adventure in the forest, it's full of massive spiders. Yikes. Uh, murderer's combat. I don't want to fight this man. Let's shop. Let's see if he's got anything good. We do have a bit of money. 
getting some like health potions might not be bad. This is a partially drank health potion. It heals seven. Seal has been broken. Not terrible. Let's get one of those. A bezoar, a toxin decays one faster. Could be helpful. If there's spiders, I imagine we're going to be seeing some, getting some venom. So maybe an anti venom would be a good idea. Let's grab one of those as well and we'll continue on. Maybe stay on the path, he says. All right, up here we've got a spider nest. Area incomplete. We've got just some more park forest over there and a road down that way. Maybe we continue along the road. Oh, actually, we can't continue along the road because there's a combat we have to do here first. All right, let's take a look. We are down one health. Oh, no. There is Blanche Taylor Moore here. Now, we still have these exclamation marks that we do need to get down. That is not ideal. We could do Guy, and that helps move one of them down. Does that help us? Maybe. We've knocked the spider out of the air. This is very difficult because we have three U's here. What are we even going to do with three U's? Is Baku a word? Baku is not a word. I'm just really hoping, you know. We could do Fax. That's a pretty good word. All right, but we finished that attack at least. Guy and Fax. It's done a little bit for us. We survived that. Let's head down the road. Can we head down the road? You have no path to where you've selected. I wonder why I don't have a path there. All right, I guess we can't go down the road. It's blocked by something, so I guess we'll go this way instead. And we'll head through the forest. Oh, what is that? It's glowing red. Maybe we avoid that. Let's avoid the skulls. They're a bit scary. I mean, at some point we are going to have to fight something, but we'll just do a bit of exploring what we can. Oh, there's another one. What's up this way? Road to Trenwick, level one crypt. Okay, level one sounds fine. We can do a level one crypt. Oh, we've left the forest, so we're now right in here. So let's explore the crypt. Fight some more spiders, or skeletons rather. Ooh, and Slogurk here, the slime with a skull inside. I really need to get rid of these. We can do bun. Does that help us at all? We can do urn. Oh, we're taking a bit of damage though. Now, I bet you're seeing so many good words that I could definitely be using. And I don't see any. Oh my goodness. Wait, can we, can we do jut? That helps a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, it's, just, it's kind of blocking this off, but now maybe we can get rid of this F. We could do, oh, I can't do fuse. The U's over here. I thought they were the other way around. I was to do F-U-S-E. I was very excited about that. I have this, but that doesn't work either. All right, we can do do's. Uh, Burry White here is uh, doing quite a bit of damage to us. Now uh, we could take three quarters of a heart and refresh. Clear the tile board of all selectable tiles and refill. Cost three life, but doesn't end the turn. Okay, let's do that. Those guys have now fallen out. I don't know if there was anything else we could have done there. I was feeling, I was feeling quite bad. We can now do bait, which is not a bad word. Oh, we are taking a lot of damage that we may have to drink our health potion. Let's just have that. And we can do grabs. I had two silver ones. It was pretty good. Ulna Thurman. These are very good pun names that they've used in this game. It's quite funny. Right, not loving all of the letters we have here. We can do rid. It's not a great one. All the Thurman is going to take quite a bit. Oh man, we've taken two more damage there. We really need some nice long words here. Okay, we can do... Is Viler a word? Yes, we're doing Viler. Uh, it's better than nothing. We are taking some damage. Do I have another health potion? Let's do that. We need to heal up a bit here. All right, we're going to do Fume. We can't find any good words. I'm really finding it difficult. Oh my goodness, we're taking a bit of damage. But we're down to... All the Thurman only has four spots left. So if we could do a good word. Oh, I really wanted long to work here. The L's too far away from the O. All right, we can do nail, which is enough to finish off Ulna Thurman. We've got Ian McCalcium here. <laughs> These are very good. Holy moly, look how much health Ian McCalcium has. That is far too much. Got gooey as a word, which is just taking out some of his armor, not even taking out him. I don't think we're going to make it here. Uh, a wild card tile counts as any letter, plus these ones as well, but this one only counts as a length multiplier. Definitely need to be using some of these. I don't know what words we're going to be doing, though. Right, lazily. I feel like that's pretty good, but we did use three of our wild cards there. But we need to do some big damage. We finally got rid of his armor. We're now working on Ian McCalcium's hearts. Right, we can do way, which is going to get rid of that exclamation mark, which is at least something sort of helpful. Oh, no. I feel like when we use the three letter words, that's when we get these. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it does feel that way. Right, we could do peak, but we're not going to make it. No. <laughs> We are on zero health. Well, on zero health, the tile board doesn't refill and spells you cast give you fewer tiles. Oh, great. Right. Oh, the Nile does not work. Okay. Okay, we can do line. That's all right. That still gets rid of those two exclamation marks. All right. I think I've got a word. I'm hoping this works. Iconic. That uses all of our letters. We've cleared the board. 
Please give me more letters. Oh no. Okay, what are they giving us? Three blanks, so this could be any word. Let's just make the word ice for, that's the first three that are word I came up with. <laughs> oh, we didn't make it. We died. <laughs> oh, this was a hard one. Ian McCalcium had so many hearts. We tried our best. Now it's time to eulogize. Total words, we only had 27. My goodness, that did not go very well. This will be a short little video, but let's just take a look, actually, because there are some other things in the arcade. Shrine here, this is looking a little bit like Wordle, and there's also something called Mines. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what we have to do. All right, green are correct. Yellow or else in the word gray, gray or not in the word. Find the correct word. So I think we're just coming up with five little words. Let's do arise. Okay, so green means it's correct in the correct spot, and then yellow means it's not in the correct spot. So we're basically, it's like Wordle. Oh no, okay. What about smite? I think that one works. The S has been moved, the I in the same spot, and the E in the same spot. All right, our S is in the right spot, the I and the E are on the right spot. We just don't know what these words are. So how about snide? Oh no, okay. This is gonna be one of those cases where we've got too many correct letters in a way. Or what about slice? Oh no, okay. <laughs> Eventually we're gonna run out of stuff, but I think we're gonna run out of uh, spaces before we run out of guesses here. All right, what about swipe? Oh, it's not swipe either. Okay, this is our final guess. Oh, I did not get it either at the last one, but Skive uh, to avoid one lessons or work. I didn't get it. I wonder, so what was the actual word then? Siege. Oh my, okay, yeah, it was. Oh, with another E. Oh, we tried so hard and in the end, didn't even matter. <laughs> Let's try the mines one as well, because that is quite fun. All right, we better go for beginner though, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, it's like Minesweeper. So that then it should be a bomb because they're touching one. I think it touches on the diagonal as well, which means I think that one is one, so this should be fine. And if that's only touching one, then these ones should not be fine. Ah, so this was not a bomb. Oh, because that was a bomb and that was a bomb. Oh, my bad. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right. That's a bomb for sure. That is a bomb for sure. That is fine. This is a bomb for sure. These are holding two. I think that's a bomb and this one's fine. If this is touching three, it'll be one, two. Oh no, wait, this one's touching two. Maybe that one is fine. It's both of these ones because these have to be touching two. So it's got to be both those. That one should be safe then. Oh, we've almost got it. Okay. Now just this side, which looks like a much harder side. That I think is a bomb because it's the only one that that one could be touching. So this is safe. If it's only touching one, that's the only one it's touching. Then these are both safe. These are touching two, but that would be both of those. You're only touching one, which means this spot is safe. Oh, good. All right. And what else do we have? This is like the game of my childhood, but it's the game that we all played, but no one really knew what they were doing. So we got a bit older. All right. Those ones are all safe. You're touching two and you're touching two. You're only touching one though. Does that mean it's likely to be here? That one's touching one. Hold on. If that one's touching one, then this one has to be somewhere else maybe there's a bomb in this corner you need to be touching one we've already got one you've already got one actually ah so these ones are already covered with that one fine oh you're already covered with your two so this is a safe spot fine that is two i think up here then is one i think this should be safe yes you have to be touching two could be there and there it could be up here though uh so you're touching two as well. No, so that should be fine. This should be safe. Oh, phew. Uh, this is safe. This is safe. And then that one is safe. Oh, we did it. <laughs> two minutes and five seconds on that one. That wasn't too bad. Phew. Okay. There's also some other challenges to be done in this game. Seems to be quite a few. If you like word games, and you are more clever than I am. I'm sure you'll enjoy this game. It was cute little RPG. I wasn't very good at making long words. I think that's the main problem. You kind of get yourself into a sticky situation, but overall I did enjoy it and I think I definitely would play some more. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.